Postcard. Time travel. From a small treasure box, a friend revealed more than a dozen postcards I had mailed to her from around the world. I appreciated receiving these, she said. They're special. I examined each card's photo, description, postmark, and my handwritten missive. This tiny feast of the senses transported me back to moments in time with a visceral intensity I had not experienced when revisiting photo albums or journals. I recalled when I first rounded the West Gate to India's Taj Mahal. My Taj guide had taken his time to wind through the history of the building's construction, stopping every third yard to dramatize what he considered a noteworthy fact. My expectations sank with each superlative reference. I thought, it can't be all that. My guide stopped just before the gate to put the finishing touch on his prologue. With a flourish akin to the doorman at a five-star hotel, he ushered me through the thick wooden doors. Then he stepped aside and waited for my reaction. Oh. My. God. Was all I managed to say over and over again. Mammoth and marble white, imposing yet elegant and accessible. The Taj wasn't architecture merely to be observed or entered like an office building. Rather, she was a coquette, beckoning from a distance. And she insisted on a slow flirtation along the quarter-mile fore garden and the rectangular pool that reflected her image. I had come to see. I left bewitched. As I returned the postcards to my friend, I thought, I wish I had sent these to myself. Now... I do. Pearl. Cherishing our own memories is as important as sharing them with others.